In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most detailed GTA 6 map we have yet. It takes all the information we know from the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks, the real life building locations, the coordinates, the roads, the landmarks, and it puts them into what we know so far is the most accurate map to date. And this will likely remain the most accurate map until we get more official information from Rockstar. I obviously don't anticipate any future leaks coming out, so I guess the only best way I can show you the map is to sort of just go from the top down. So let's take a look at it right here. There's so many different locations and the world kind of is in like the shape of Florida. We know that the game is going to encompass Florida and its surrounding areas. So we don't know if that's going to be just the entirety of the state which is kind of what the shape roughly looks like, or if it's going to encompass other states close to Florida that it borders, like Alabama, Georgia, and then a little bit of South Carolina. So starting at the very top, you'll notice that not all of the names have specific places like mountains in the top left-hand corner. That's obviously not going to be the case. It's going to be something along the lines of like Mount Chiliad, or it's going to have a very specific name. And a lot of people have been wondering, how is Florida going to have mountains? Well, Rockstar could actually kind of do a parody of something like this. I'm going to quickly jump over to this picture right here. I don't know if you guys are in Florida and if you've seen stuff like this. It looks like a giant hill and it looks like a mountain. Those are actually landfills. This is where the state of Florida buries their garbage and sometimes radioactive materials there. This is probably a gold mine for Rockstar, for Easter eggs, for stories, for lore, all sorts of stuff. So they could probably give us some faux mountains or nice looking hillsides, kind of what we saw in the leaks. So I think that's going to be really what we get unless we go to another state like Georgia, which does have mountains in the north, and same with a small bit of Alabama. So unless we travel to those different states, that's probably looking like what you're going to get with mountains. You also have the Red Hill Forest, the Ambrosia Tarmac, Ambrosia Farmlands, and then Ambrosia. This area kind of reminds me of Grapeseed, if I'm totally being honest with you, kind of like a small farm town in the middle of nowhere. We're also going to have one giant lake, Lake Leonida. That's going to be in the middle of the map, as you guys can see there. Again, it'll be cool to see if Rockstar is able to hide any Easter eggs or any underwater secrets right there. That looks pretty cool. Just to the north of that is Copperhead. Again, I can see this being kind of like a small town in the middle of nowhere. And then we have Fairyland, which is going to be a parody of Disney World, which is based in Orlando. So Rockstar have featured theme parks before. Think of the Funland in Grand Theft Auto 4, but I think none to the extent of like actual Disney World. Again, lots of chances for Rockstar to put their creative touches and spin on this entire thing. You then have Sundown, Sundown Beaches, and the Sundown Airport. I like the fact that there seems to be multiple airports here, just like there's multiple airports in GTA 5. That kind of adds for a, a lot of variety. As we continue to go south, there's more smaller towns like Sugarloaf Mountain, Red Hill, the Red Hill Forest. I think there's a good chance that Rockstar could throw in a lot of Easter eggs there. We also see the big town of Port Gellhorn that includes a racetrack, and a prison. So I think there's going to be lots of different areas with unique things to them, like a good old prison or a jail, or the fact that there's going to be a racetrack in some parts of the world. All of that can lead to a lot of variety and a lot of different things that Rockstar can do. Another smaller lake called Ekon Finca. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. That, again, is in the middle of the world. And then we kind of get to arguably probably the most iconic part and most recognizable part of the entire world if you've played Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And that is Vice City. All the areas there. Bayside, North Beaches, La Pearl, Washington Beaches, the Shopping District, Vice Beach Plaza, Ocean Beach, South Beaches. There's also an area called Venetian Islands, Overtown, Little Haiti, which we know from GTA Vice City, Rock Ridge, Central Vice City, the airport, and another area called Leaf Links, which is probably where our golf course is, a shipping port. Again, similar to what we saw in Grand Theft Auto V. We obviously know about Starfish Island. So that's going to be the main, call it Los Santos City part of the world. You also see the big main airport there, which is based on the Miami airport. 
And then as we get further south, we get to see, again, more of the areas where I feel like Rockstar is going to be able to be super creative here, like a military base. What secrets are they going to have hidden in this military base? And the Grass Rivers. Is this where they're going to keep like a giant swamp monster or something along those lines? I feel like there could be a lot of room for some cool stuff there. Another small town called Hamlet that also has an airport. So just looking off the top right now, I see one, two, three, four, five five, maybe six airports. Not all of them are going to be massive, but this is going to allow a lot of opportunity for air traffic. And just like in real life, there are a ton of airports in Florida because there's a lot of major cities there. So if this does encompass the entirety of the state, that would kind of make sense. And then as we go far, far south, we make our way into the Keys, the Florida Keys, whatever that's going to be called. And this one also has an island drawn off sort of in the bottom right. I wonder if that's legitimately going to be a part of the world. I don't remember seeing that as a part of the GTA 6 leaks. And then overall, just kind of looking at the shape of the map, it really does resemble the state of Florida, which as we go further north, it kind of gets wider into the peninsula and then narrows out as it goes south into the st areas like Miami and Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, etc. And then, of course, the Florida Keys. So I really do think this is the most detailed map so far. It outlines all of the major landmarks, the big cities, the key areas, military bases, airports, and a lot of fun areas of the map that Rockstar simply weren't able to explore the last time we were in GTA Vice City, which was over 20 years ago, and on consoles that aren't even being made anymore the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox and gives us a good idea of what the world of Grand Theft Auto 6 and Vice City and its surrounding areas is honestly going to look like. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Do you think the Grand Theft Auto 6 map is going to look something like this or do you think it's going to completely change by the time Rockstar reveals the real thing to us. But even if they do make some changes, I feel like this gives us a pretty significant idea. The Grand Theft Auto community is so talented, and the fact that they've been able to put all this together just from some leaked early development footage is absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there, or of course you can reach out to me on my Facebook page, where as always you can send messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.